Oh, hey everybody, welcome to the final episode of Life is Strange. Where, like, actually, I actually thought this third menu option just said Chloe. And I was like, I'm not clicking on that. That seems like a hella self-indulgent. Um, last episode things went wild, dude. Uh, we found... Nathan Prescott's dungeon, only it turns out it's not Nathan Prescott's dungeon, maybe Mr. Je- Well, I'm not gonna say maybe, Mr. Jefferson's a creep, he's definitely a creep. Shot Chloe in the face and uh, injected us with some kind of sedative. And um, Nathan Prescott, at, at the present moment, we're not really sure what's going on with him. Uh, except that it seemed like he was gonna maybe murder Victoria, but maybe Mr. Jefferson is, uh, is trying to frame Nathan somehow using a burner phone and, I don't know, incredible social engineering skills. Either way, we're going on to episode 5 today. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. And all liberals. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly Warren established himself as going high on the power rankings this week, or last week, I should say, as a result of his shellacking of Nathan Prescott. We save Kate's life because we are essentially a benevolent god. What a lame gimmick, Rachel. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where the junkyard, Max? We have to find that spot now. Binders full of women. That's correct. We insulted Victoria once 20 years ago, so now she no longer uh, I'm so sorry. heeds our warning that she's about to be killed. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? Everyday heroes, more like everyday villains, right? Because he, Mr. Jefferson seems like kind of a bad dude. Evil Mathis? <laughs> I did see the 30-year-old IRS auditor on Dan's show um, that had an anime waifu as his Steam avatar. That being said, that dude seemed like a stand-up guy. So at first I was like, it's really funny that he asked him to add him on Steam and then he had like a, a an anime lady with her legs up. It's wearing clothes, admittedly, but uh, then when Dan talked to him for like half an hour, I was like, this he's a stand-up guy. It just is a funny avatar. It's an it's some weird discord between the the person and the personality, it seemed. Also, he didn't work for the IRS. He worked for the revenue department of uh, the state that he lived in. I hate that uh, fingernail texture, I'll tell you that. Don't nod, more like don't mod. It's good advice, Origin. Alright, so this is a bad start for our, uh, for our hero here. However, we are in a photography lab. And we have the ability to travel back in time by looking at photographs, so... I'm thinking that there's a way out for us 
by what? time leaping here. Quantum leap like Scott Bakula. It's a dark room. You know, they call it the dark room, even though it's quite obviously quite bright. What a hilarious misunderstanding. Is anybody out there? Please help! Yo, you're in a bunker, my lady. <sighs> That's a start. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Um. Help! Somebody help me! You can tell this is made by a European company because this thing is called a trolley. In the West, we call it a cart. Okay. So I'm. Oh, okay. I mean, there's a photo there. Oh shit! That's me. He took that shot last night. Um, what if we could kick the trolley with our foot or pull it towards us? I do kind of want to watch out for the syringe, I don't though. Remember anything that happened. This must be the same. Look, the other thing is in the West, we don't call Europe the West. Europe, we call it the Central. Grand Central Station. The U.S. is more East than West. What are you talking about? You gotta look at a Mercator projection, man. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I'm assuming we do want to focus on this photo. But it, I don't know. Do we really want to go back to the time when we were unconscious? I it seems like a bad idea. A time like this again. But we don't have too many other options right now. Way. All right, lock picking skill is at 50, so we want to be like there. There. Oh, Max. She put her eyeliner on wrong. This angle highlights your purity. See, the slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there. STAY STILL! Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! I'm starting to think Mr. Jefferson might not be all there. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first... selfie. Yes. I still hate that word. Dear E. Lerang generation. But I love the purity of your own image. My grandparents Not took like the daguerreotypes. Our generation takes selfies. Places. Where did we go wrong? Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move. Thanks, Max. How many shots do you need, if you weirdo? I could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hand. I still don't sorta understand. You really should have focused on schoolwork. Not the plan detecting with your little He's gonna take friend. down the Prescott's using his camera. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed it, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. It but would be sick if Cole Phelps like just burst into the room right now. You had your wrist! Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. 
Okay. Now this looks good. It is gonna take him a hundred thousand years to sort through all these photographs. This is outrageous. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Oh, no. No. Oh. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Nice. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen. He spilled all my insulin. In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Alright, so now we're gonna travel forward in time through the aid of sedatives. We're gonna find another way to travel back through time once we get to the future. We spilled the drugs on his folder. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Try to travel into the Junji Ito horrifying photo or poster with the girl with worms crawling out of her eyes and just see what happens. It'll be fucking sweet, dude. Enter that world, Max. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. You know, this photo right here? Which is not a photo? We gotta get in there. I read that, uh, I don't know if it's called a manga, or because it's a short manga, it's a manga ido or something like that, but I read the one with the, uh, you know, the horror at whatever fault, where there's the holes that people go into that are exactly the size of them. And I was like, it's pretty good. So, uh, definitely do not want to go into that photo. We're about the camera. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Foreshadowing? Place. Yeah, yeah, it's the one that goes dirt, dirt. <laughs> you got it. Work. Please work. Oh, I'm a moth. I'm a real spooky t-shirt moth. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Uh, yes. the void the is also opening up behind you, Mr. Jefferson. She doesn't understand now. Connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? You were the cool Max. teacher. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put. I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few... As long as I only murder two or three high school students a year, no one's the wiser. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. 
Don't even you give him the satisfaction. Hurt. I'm like pure sweet Kate Marsh. I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. I mean, and many times during the Bible, it contradicts itself. Here, look. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. It's good our esteemed Principal Wells is like most administrators. A closet drunk. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a It's a shame not story. everybody can be as smart as me, a high school photography teacher. Has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy I'm so to smart I can manipulate 17 year olds. Sort of Father figure By the way, if you haven't used your Twitch Prime subscription, teachers too close to the bone, maybe too close to the bone. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs He's for done. my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. I thought that you didn't you believe in heaven. Why? Mr. Why? Jefferson? Why? Why? Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. I don't use those words, Max, okay? Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so good. Oh, that's extreme. He pulled yes, a gun on us, are. you crazy. I more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel. What? No, I you're going to kill the whole graduating class, him. man. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. That was good delivery, I do actually. I Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway. I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. But that would be okay. making sure nothing of me gets seen, now, so I'm just Let's see how these Mr. Shots Jefferson, came you haven't th you've had your I entire life to think of this monologue. So and yet, you don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Yeah, okay. Oh, this one. Can, can I just check my phone quickly? No, I cannot. All right. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. This is purity personified. Max, I wish you could see yourself in that Okay. Wait. Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think Isn't that what the SD card is for? Is a career high for me. 
You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. What about like a six-year-old's diary? Look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can You stupid so moron, much. you just played right into my hands. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go post on Reddit about how Bernie can still win. Get time traveled on, you little baby. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Well, Shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. Mr. Jefferson's a, a murderer. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. Has been popular since the early it would be so good if they just Your did like a 180 to and turn work. this into hot Self fuzz. Expression. Max just went buck wild on this guy right now. Resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. Let's go! Pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well. Thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly We're the teacher the now. Subjects clear to find features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. <laughs> Clearly, Max doesn't have the uh, time. He knows. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. To change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artist. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Am I losing my mind? Is David the principal? Or am I having the world's largest brain fart? Yes, I can warn David right now. David does... Okay, okay, the stepdad, the stepdad, my mistake. I remember now. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. You took a well-publicized detour into teaching around the country. Wow, what a journey. Inevitably ending up in a permanent position at Blackwell Academy. Found you. Just see, maybe there's more to do I here. Hope I still love photography when this is done. Yo, you got bigger problems, Max. Don't confuse the art with the artist. If you became like an insurance Bastard. broker, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world right now. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter? This diary literally saved my life. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. Should have sent that from like a burner or something. Nice. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. <laughs> no trace of evidence except I'll be a damning digital stuff. footprint stored Jefferson, in the cloud forever. You'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. I see right through your bullshit, Victoria. 
I'm sorry. You have okay, to stand so we have to give psycho. Mr. Jefferson the photo so that he has it in the future if we get captured, and then we can travel back to this time. I'd like to bust this up right now. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh, can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you I want to be his next victim. No, I want to be his next victim. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think Max about your actions. Max has hella Listen, ascended. I, I didn't. Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then, I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but... Don't be weird about it, you freaking Why? creep. Here's my photo. Here's a photo. I need that for time travel contest. later. Oh. That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. Yeah, it showed and up I, your ass, the, the Buffalo first Bill. Step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest. Or maybe Max. none of us will be going. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Perhaps four of us will go. Right, so we didn't really stop Chloe from getting murdered in the bathroom. Mr. Jefferson gets arrested along with Nathan Prescott. Rachel Lambert, I mean, definitely still dead. We won the Everyday Heroes Contest. Considering the situation that happened, I'm a little surprised that they even revealed the Everyday Heroes winner. Actually, it seems like I'm completely wrong. This reality is excellent. Everybody's having a wonderful time. Yeah, we're, we're still gonna go to San Francisco? West Airlines, aka okay. Alaska Air. You're okay, Max. You're safe. Hot dog. Man. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Dude, your wrists are gonna be extremely hyperextended when you wake up. Good work, David. Excuse me, you're 35,000 feet in the sky. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. And I finally Wednesday. realized life is strange. Wah! admit, I love being called an artist. She really got over that whole murder thing pretty quick. We're almost in San Francisco. 
I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. This is absolutely false, because if it was real, Principal Wells strikes me as the kind of guy who just keeps his map open the whole time. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Double moons in the sky. C is foreshadowing. Not everything's okay in this reality yet again. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. Real question is why this 50-year-old we man is watching Hot Dog Man. Please fasten your seat and stow uh -oh. any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. Mr. Jefferson's it's dad. Day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. Mr. Jefferson's brother. You enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. Wee. I'm on an airplane that flies through the sky due to a miracle of flight our ancestors could only have imagined in their wildest dreams. But I gotta pay for my own booze. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic. Sure has been I a strange week. Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco. Turns out the other guy was a creepy murderer, though, so I guess it'll have to be me. Man, we're not even there. Christ, another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. So are we like, we're flipping through space and time like willy-nilly here, tumbling through the temporal plane? Or is this um, actual passage of time? Not us being adrift in the subatomic realm. Man, imagine going to a private school where if you win a photography contest, they, like, fly you to another city where your art gets displayed. In my high school, they were like, you're pretty good at basketball, get on the bus. We're gonna drive you to the regional tournament five and a half hours away, so you can get stomped by the team from Ottawa. I was not good at basketball. So cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the I'm food, just saying there were people you know, in my high school that were good at basketball. This the tallest dude in my graduating class was like 6'1", so we don't have I any NBA players. Of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird. Like, I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Very true. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Play your cards right. Now, you could be the person welcoming like people to this gallery in eight years. Me. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. What do you think? I've, only, I've had come talk to me about 30 you... words exchanged with you in my entire life. Come Don't on, act Max. like you're my father figure After here. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. So, uh, come here often? Wowzer, Max. 
There I am, along with all the Samson other winners. Samson Pink. I should say, artists. Instead. This is, if you look at this, and then you go one generation up, you're gonna find the people who own like 90% of the land in the United States of America. Like Anastasia Carver, 100%. Her dad is like CEO of Exxon Valdez. Jim Vonnegut, I give you 100% odds. His mom is the CFO of United Airlines. Do not even get me started on Amy Brodigan. You know who her dad is? That's right, President of the United States of America. Brian Eggers. Sean Bath Hornsby. You may know him by his other name, Jesus Christ. That's right. His father is the Lord above. You may know him as God. Excuse me, sir. Aren't you a little bit old to be at the Everyday Heroes gallery unveiling? Man! I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. Hella yes. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. <laughs> yeah. This is garbage. Who made this one? Oh, redacted. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Hey, I'm over here, dude. Congratulations for your piece. All right. Making inroads. Great con- We're schmoozing. This is mingling right here. You just walk around, people tell you how much they love your work, and then you how silently walk away. How afford to rent here? That's fair. One million shares on Facebook. Wow, it really makes you think, doesn't it? Also, the homeless guy is 100% wearing a PUBG outfit. I wonder if I can... Sorry, I don't know your name. But I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. Dude, being an artist is easy. That is different. It's Loving just the accepting retro praise all the time. Me too. Why Me too. are you wearing my outfit from yeah, 12th grade, film despite being an adult? Here on the plaque, Max Caulfield, everyday hero. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. You know who's the real artist? The people making the camera. That's art, dude. You press a button and it captures a moment in time. That's incredible. Stop with the flashing! Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. <laughs> Jet lag. Uh, your High nose. Altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. Max, holy shit, man, your vision. It's, it's true. You, you saw the tornado, it's coming. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, scared. can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Uh, oh my god. Your beans. The tornado was real. <laughs> Oh, I didn't fix shit. No, just look at a photo from like the 1800s and then go back and, and convince Chloe's family to move away. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Yeah, yeah, go back here. Ugh. 
<laughs> Gotta go back in time and stop the t no tornado from being way. born. Chloe can't die. Hot dog said. man! I have to save her. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35. This guy is still, <laughs> it's like the world's slowest reader. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be No here. kidding. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here. This is water. What if you went back to Neon World? I don't even want to think about that. It's Mr. Jefferson's brother again. Eh. Max, I'm kind of trying to make some inroads here, if you don't mind. Like, I do not understand art. Please, no. That's how I ended up I at a gallery okay in San Francisco. Come. Not here. I'm always accidentally stumbling into galleries in the most artistic cities in the United States of America. It's like you can't shake a stick. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Sorry, but who are you? Let's go. Oh shit! Oh my head! She's starting to look like what is going on now? Andrew WK album covers. It feels like reality is breaking apart. <laughs> what am I doing? Hey, your nose. I just have to make one simple change, so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. You know, like from Arcadia Bay, you could just buy a, an airplane ticket to go to San Francisco for like $200? I'm not saying it's cheap, necessarily, but we're getting into the, all this like time travel like I'm gonna miss out on my dreams for not winning the everyday heroes contest etc etc you're like one state north why don't you just go uh excuse me I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. Transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. I do like that in this Good episode answer. you just get to yell at Mr. Jefferson over and over. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shutter. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. Let me say fuck Something you again. Weird. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? We can't make small talk right now, Mr. Jefferson. Like I said, something weird. There's bigger things going on. There's that fear. Oh, Max. It 
It's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. If only... And I promise you... We could all be so lucky. No more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. <laughs> Just keep Please. rewinding time Don't over and over. Yep, yep. Oh, he's gonna get me, he's gonna... Yep. You will never get this. That's too far. That's too far. You don't want to. Don't skip all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you. No more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. No, don't make me watch this. I want to look around and free myself. Please, don't do this. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. Oh, and, 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 and. I don't, I don't think we can do anything here, unfortunately. What? Oh! Hey, Max, any chance you could have shouted, uh, look out? Instead of just watching- No, David, Oh my no. god, the worst security guard of all time. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? Warn! David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Okay, well, don't warn him there. You gotta, you gotta wait a little longer. Wow, David, you are actually the worst Jesus. of all time. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hit him. It is nice seeing him get hit in the face, but... Jeez, I don't know, dude. How about that military training? Let's go. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Oh, it's the same little. So if you stop touching your head and instead just punched him, you'd probably be set, Jesus. dude. David Madsen, he's out cold. He did drop a gun, though. Maybe we can do something there. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay. All right. Well. Make sure you loot him. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Alright, 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 alright. Might just have to let this play out. Bash to bash is the ultimate combo. Okay, I'm thinking we should at least warn him. This final dose won't hurt. Maybe he's prepared by being warned. What? David, watch out! 
How? How did you know that? Just the worst. Jesus. Savior Savior you could ever ask He's for. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay. No, okay. Alright, what if we take the hit in the face instead of David? It's the other thing I'm thinking here. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? No, that just uh, murders us. Alright. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... Acquiesce? ...request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? If we play some music, he might not hear the door open. One last picture might allow me to go back in time over and over. Turn off the lights. I think that's that's probably worse for David, honestly. And this, uh, music was Could the first thing I please thought of. At least play some music so I can drift away. Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. Could you uh, turn off the it's lights nice and close trip. the doors? But for what? We don't allow them hoes? You gotta play this circus shit when I'm about to be murdered? We gotta do everything here. And I promise you. All right, I can't imagine what the water would be, so let's go for uh, one last photo. Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. And he's taking a little extra time now. That just delayed him by like 40 seconds. So David should be coming in like right about now. Right about now. Right about now. This final dose won't hurt. What? Wow, this was not helpful at all. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? And down he goes again. All right. So David was slowed down by the photography. Makes sense. Every time a photo gets taken, David loses consciousness for a fraction of a second. So, all right. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait. Oh, there was a use in there. All right. One last photo. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut Wrong one, up, wrong okay? one. <laughs> Warned him too fast. Gave him too much advance warning. Get warned, David, son. Watch out! How? How did you know that? Where's my use at? Get the camera next to you. Wow, if only he had a deadly weapon like no a camera boss. when he came in no here. Boss. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh no. David Matson. Here we of go course. again. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. Well, 
Maybe what we should do instead of giving Damn, him the camera is he could come in with an even more deadly weapon, like perhaps a bouquet of roses? Maybe a helium-filled balloon? Something that could really put Mr. Jefferson, Jefferson on his ass. Okay. Jefferson, it's over. Yeah, I don't know. Grab the bottle. Oh, he dodged the first one. He Sorry, was doing all right. Son. You should have stuck to harassing students. Okay. Over. You are not going to stop. Now. Got it. Oh, this guy was in the fucking military. David Madsen, you are one stupid son of a bitch. So don't blame me. This is actually absurd. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. No, no, I already know what happens there. This is as far back as I can go. Jefferson, so like it's over. You are not Use the table. Kick that table. Yes, sir. <laughs> David, <laughs> David come I on, dude. <laughs> you hit him too, Max. <laughs> I must have missed something. I should David, that one wasn't even close, man. Zero chance that was gonna work. Okay, let's try this Jefferson, again. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh Lord, Max, are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, I mean, you, I'm the one who basically thank solved you. everything no, here. Me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. Nice. Smart. But I mean, like, yeah, okay. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Yeah. Or Except worse. that one place you're going. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. And by a moment, I mean a jail cell. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes. I, I can use that picture he took of us. No signal. I can't even look at my gallery with no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. Now, what the hell is this place? David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was going to kill me. You got here just in time. Take Jefferson's photo? I always suspect that's the ticket, bitch. You kind of suspected everybody. Yes, and this is what I get for wasting all those hours on the Prescotts. I set my sights too wide. Lack of focus. I know the feeling. Well, you still had the right idea to tell the principal that Jefferson acted shady around Kate Marsh. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. He's made it. David's redeemed himself. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No, I, I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe... And your investigation. 
If only he knew how many times we saved him. You had each other. From a nearly certain fate. We... We are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. He's really good at tucking even that shirt in, in, though. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but... I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but... When Joyce kicked me out... I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. I kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... You guys ever hear the expression that brevity is the soul of wit? After war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she? She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. And I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Maybe she'll stop calling me Step Douche. So, where is Chloe? Start by... Stop replacing her birth control with sugar pills. Where is Chloe? Isn't she... She's running away from a tornado right now? David... Uh, Chloe is... No, she got shot in the head, that's right. Dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you? Yes, I. Well, uh, give me some uh, credit for forgetting here. You know how many timelines we've tripped through in the last like hour and six minutes. Last night. Last night. She said, so "Gotta dig up my you. dead friend." I'll get the bad I end. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. And then a Mr. Jefferson. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... God damn it. You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker. And you took away my stepdaughter. No. No, David. David, wait! Why couldn't you have done that eight minutes ago, David? Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. Funny how the wound appears what to be mess? on the other side of his head. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. I... Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max. You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. There's no going back here. Don't rewind. Who knows, maybe it'll leave him with like some kind of vestigial lesson. If we can fix the timeline and save Chloe, David, for reasons unbeknownst to him but known to us and the audience, We'll be like, hey, I should spend more time with Chloe and stop wearing, what is that watch, my dude? You're supposed to be wearing like a, you know, a masculine band. Wake up. 
got to avoid the bad ending. It's a long trip, dude. Oh, hey, yeah, um... No! No! No, that's too much! Either I rewind or I cancel. Cancel! Cancel! Let's hit the boom, boom, let's hit my I just want to tell him that Chloe is not dead. I'll, I'll be like, I don't know what happened to Chloe. Nobody knows. Good God. It's a studio. <laughs> David? Uh, your nose. Are you okay? Look at this place. Jefferson was... I'm glad. I always suspect. Yeah, I didn't. You got... Yes. <laughs> well... <laughs> Me too. I... Jefferson... That... No. We all make... Yeah, we're a great Me. team. That's one of my pro... Never good even, even in the army. I'm not gonna it's hard to come home after war. Good Joyce cares. I'm sorry. I'm so I should never have I'm going I try. And I just wanna see you. My lord. Hide the truth. David, um well, she was pretty stressed out, so um, um she, she died go. of a oh, stress wound. Before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. Once I'm happy, Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air. And use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. There you go. He's okay. gonna be fine. Teacher, let's see what kind of photo. Just looking at that makes me want to vomit. I know. I mean, who uses Direx brand syringes? It's all about the. the, the I don't know anything about medical supplies. Damn. So this is actually a, a real story. I should have told this on the NLSS yesterday because it was the funniest thing that happened to me this weekend. But I was in the middle of playing uh, Get Over It. We, uh, I told you guys we went down to visit my sister-in-law, who, uh, is a medical professional. We went to her office, because she just opened it up, and we, she gave us, like, a tour. She has a five-year-old and a two-year-old. She was kind of, like, showing my father and mother-in-law around, like, oh, you know, here's, like, the one room, here's the other room, here's the office, blah, blah, blah. Me and Kate were watching the five-year-old. Five-year-old picks up a syringe filled with something. I don't know. Could have been cleaning solution. Could have been some kind of sedative or something that they just have lying around. And was like, check it out! And we were like, no! This is literally the only thing that, like, this kid should not have been picking up in the whole world. Kate and I had an instant reaction of, like, this five-year-old is going to trip and fall on a syringe and we're going to get the blame. Why would it be cleaning solution? Why would there just be a syringe filled with anything if it wasn't cleaning solution? I meant to oh, clean the syringe, gosh. not to clean the freaking... How could <laughs> not like they're gonna squirt the syringe onto the walls to clean it. Yeah, that's the end of the story. There was just like, there was a, a full syringe. Freedom. It was not ink. This storm is real. Unless it was clear ink. Need to find more. Yes. Warren, can you hear me? <laughs> Never mind. God, the T-Mobile service is terrible in this hurricane. Yeah. Why? 
Like everyone is talking like science explaining about how you don't reuse syringes. Okay, that's fine. How about uh, you safety explain me why the hell there was a full syringe or something? I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. You can also Hold totally on. reuse some syringes. There you go. I don't know if you should drive in this. Your sister-in-law has a two-year-old and a five-year-old and her own office. How does it feel to play games on the internet now? About the same as it always has. I do resist the notion that uh, having two children is an accomplishment. Is it a wondrous bounty for your life? I'm sure. On a fulfillment level. I could be pumping out kids non-stop if I wanted to. I'm, I'm extremely virile. It would not be a challenge at all. In fact, I have to be more careful than the average person. Any of the sperm gets out and aerosolized, I could, you know, cause the next baby boom. It's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. Nathan, not <laughs> redeemed. Not as damned, but certainly not redeemed. Be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Still a bad dude. For now, at least. He also did murder Rachel Lambert, that's true. Pulled the gun on Chloe, pulled the gun on us once. It's a real test of Chad's innate bias towards people were mean to this guy, so everything he does now is a justification. We'll see. Hey, uh, what's going on? Alyssa? There's not Alyssa. Evan, what are you doing, dude? Not Evan. I have to stop him. My dude is dead. obsessed with the everyday heroes contest it's like winning a you know readathon at your local middle school Cole Phelps LAPD wait there was Alyssa was back there well that's a problem Looks like Alyssa's dead forever. Sorry. Looks like you gotta, you know, do one for yourself this time. 
we can make it out of this, Chloe. Honestly, I'm done with Alyssa. She's got to save herself one time out of the six episodes. Five episodes. Yeah, that should do it. Oh no! <laughs> Jesus! He's dead. Electrocuted. Hey. Hey, get out of here. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Oh, this makes me so sad. Damn. I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. No, 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 no. I know what to do. I know what to do. You shock him? He definitely gets super shocked. Then it puts out the fire, and you go through, and you rewind over here. One more storms. Come on, you have to get out of here right now. I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. Please, 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 please. You should get out of here. The whole town is dying. Okay. <laughs> I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. Look at that. Problem solved. Saved bald old Austin, but not Alyssa. Quick, name uh, two personality traits of Alyssa that are not related to her reading or getting hit by airborne objects. Oh, wait. Where's Alyssa? I do not see an Alyssa. Being thick with two C's is not a personality trait. It's too late, she's already gone. Well, tough break, kid. Yeah, yeah. That'll do it. Just put a little sand on the tornado. Fire sand. Now that's something I believe exists that I have never heard of in my life. I wish life was back to simple eggs and bacon. Damn, this is blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. I agree that sand would stop fire. I've just I I ain't ever seen fire sand in my life before. Ooh, I should have warned her. Never even asked Not her, me. the woman I ignored every time I came to the diner. <laughs> her name was homeless. This is not a test. An E6 tornado. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. At least nobody's going to starve in here. Go get him, Julia. Why no rewind? Well, when did she get hit by the car? I thought it was like 10 years ago. Max. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Well, better than Chloe. Yes. Hey. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, Bean boys. Barry and all those people out I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce. That's it's true. I did shoot Frank the last time I saw him, so. You okay, Warren. How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. I don't like Warren's shirt. He's freaking me out. So glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that. Let's go, Pompadour. To help Chloe. Sorry, sorry. 
No, no. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't Don't look at his shirt. Drove down here in the it's gonna give me a stroke. Tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. But also is that tied all? up now? Yes. Um, I'm not going to say he killed Chloe because Joyce could overhear. I, I think that the storm started and everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse, the birds, the whales, everything. <laughs> All because, because yeah, the lip syncing is not quite right. How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but <laughs> it seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Uh, what happened with Jefferson? <laughs> did, did he hurt you? <laughs> he used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. <laughs> Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. <laughs> it was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. Also, get out of my head, Charles! You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. I want to kill that Where son of a bitch. Busted. History. She's talking again! Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or all <laughs> She's time, mind flooded by the shirt. It's a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and and you've always treated me like a person. Not, not a beta nerd. I, oh. I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That's the first step of enlightenment. And it's both of us, Warren. Realizing how little you know. Reason. And only 999,000 to steps to go. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could Don't there be more important ever touch me, Warren. And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Well, you showed me a little attention, so here's the photograph you Please wanted. Wait, no, 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 we don't need to go back. We don't, hey. we don't need to go back yet. Be careful out there. You should talk to Frank. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not What's pathetic. What's wrong? Warren's a good friend! You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max.
it's too Hollywood for us to have never had any real romantic tension and then be like, give me a kiss. It's just not, uh... What happens to you? It, it, it's too <laughs> Hollywood, dude. The end? The party is over. This vortex is much bigger. There's nothing wrong with them just being friends. There's literally no romantic tension between Warren and myself, even if he does have some unrequited love for me. You know, part of the lesson he's got to learn is he's got to make that intention known in some way, shape, or form instead of just waiting for me to, to make a move in some kind of heroin moment. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Are you okay? You did shoot what? her. Or shoot Besides him. this tornado, the hole in my leg, not to mention the fact that I might die on the floor of a diner, and you're the last person I could see. You know what? I'm cool. Jesus. And I bet that thief Chloe and you didn't find Rachel. Um. Right? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so. I just and they're out of those beans. Rachel is dead. Fuck you, Max. No. No way. She left town. She's gone. Now, how do you know, huh? How? All of our clues led us to my professor, Mark Jefferson. He had this creepy photo torture chamber. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk. Papadou hated him. Yeah. You saw. You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. It's a slow tornado. Nathan Don't sweat it. He wanted to impress Jefferson, and he, he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is... Ooh, maybe we should have said nothing. If I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. Um... Uh, no. What have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one it's all clear thing now. My life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just, it's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going out. I can't help dreams. but overhear what you said about Mr. Jefferson. I'm really only four feet away from you right now. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. No, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe, but uh, now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter swing his low, house sweet justified. chariot. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong. Redeemed. Kid, I still think you're weird. Have you ever been so good at conversation you could shoot a dude in the leg and bring him over to your side the next day? I can't seem to escape the two whales. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? She's safe, Joyce. She just sent me a text before my phone died. Oh, thank God. I was torturing myself before you showed up. Oh, God, if something happened to Chloe while well, I ended up stuck at this diner again. Well, we don't have to I'm talk about things about that are not going to happen, choice. so. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this toy. Well, enough about know. that. Don't speak to Warren anytime soon. I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control. Well, of you see, the thing is, David you might want to ask him more closely about that. More age and experience under his belt. And if it doesn't 
always show it. I know. I just feel like everything that's going on with us is the perfect storm for Arcadia Bay. I just want our lives to be normal again. Instead of shit going on this week. Strange. Right. Then look at me, trying to keep my family together. Again. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? Yeah. David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever. And bring the I family can see back together. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. That's true. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. Not how that phrase usually goes. I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. Well, it's crazy. All it took was a world-sundering tornado to make us all appreciate one another. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. Well, on that incredibly awkward note, see you later. Maybe never. Max, do you... Do you think this is the end? This is, uh, Eclipse Day? Oh, end of the world party. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad just been we're here tumbling through time for an I indeterminate period. Talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, we were in. To Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk ass... Chloe, I can travel me. through time. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me. I'm going to that party to make sure he never heard Chloe, anybody. Chloe, I can travel coming. through time. Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. All right, flanking maneuver. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm... I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. And then I never believe you, even though you can travel through that. time and have the answers to everything. Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. 
I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? Uh, yeah, but first, how many cigarettes do I what have do in my mean, pockets? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. I went to San Francisco, <laughs> it was awesome. About? There was this really cool coffee shop next to the Golden Gate Park, and... Oh, you mean... The I whole interdimensional rifts, I see. To the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked you, me to... You wouldn't stop talking about Blade Runner. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful Actually, the first time that Chloe has showed so sympathy for anybody you. other than Rachel What's Amber. For you? This is character growth. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll be We do have to get line of sight him. though so we can keep David right? from constantly being killed it. over and over despite an incredible him? tactical advantage. The other day. He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. But I can't I'm so travel through time. David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that Sorry, I traveled my brain time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. She went back in time to tell Chloe to tell her something. Why won't Max know that she told Chloe to say it? This is not even like a, um, like a plot hole sort of suggestion. I'm just trying to explain, I'm trying to get it explained to me, I guess. Because she can't time travel anymore? She can only go back in time momentarily. Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive, oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. It looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield. Very time true. Warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Yo, yeah, but mostly Nobody the time travel. Happens. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. 
an adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. In what way, I'd like Chloe? I think that too. We all owe Rachel. Anna. She really did us a solid by getting kidnapped and murdered and bringing the whole town together. You, you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. This is stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Chloe. Yo, I think I've got another time attack coming on. Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I I'm back in class. What the hell? Yeah, I'm back! These pieces of time can frame us. Back in class! I have to listen to Just this back. I can't go that even close to that this high. Be <laughs> now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane, <laughs> I'm calm. Don't freak out. Why Arvis? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torture, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares. Shh, shh, shh. You guys Keep okay? Yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Well, while we're in a time loop, might as well grab a little something for myself. A new iPad. It changed. It changed again. That's it? Three times is clearly not the charm. I don't care if this is a dream or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. Not yet, you bastard. Max, if you're reading this, it means you're dead, Mr. Jefferson. All right, Kate Marsh not looking so happy you right now. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Oh, that's too creepy. Max, this is your old pal Chloe you left in a wheelchair in another reality. Did I thank you before you bailed to a new life? Not only did you blow off my request, you already jumped into another photo. How many times can you abandon me, hippie? Max, I love your photo shoot with Jefferson. He absolutely captured you. If you want, we can hang out and get high. Bitch, do not mess with Frank or me. You got a snack? We got a text message from a dog and he called us a bitch. Hi Max, Rachel Amber here. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'll be seeing you soon. Real soon. Good evening, young Max. The squirrels talk to me, but how can you? Samuel has no phone. Bitch, do not fuck with me or Frank. You got a snack. Oh no. Alright, it's the lighthouse being torn asunder. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. Photo of us digging up Rachel Amber. 
I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Um, Who no. Needs selfies when I can give you portraiture. There's no way I'm saying that. No way. Well, of all of these options, my selfies are shit is probably the best one. My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. Sweet. Complete real. loss of control. I don't believe it. Haunted dorm room. Kate Marsh is crying at her own vigil. Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always We're been We're in the house friend. of the undying. All righty. I see. Okay, I see. It's Mr. Jefferson's car keys. No, it's the keys to room 218. They just look the same. One on Stenoma? That's terrible. Well, if you got the keys to room 218. Pardon me? All right. After my dad died, I knew Costume change. I don't know any of these people except for Victoria Chase. What a strange situation. Oh crap. Rachel Amber was on the map? Pardon me. Oh, there she is. Yeah, 224. You never look at the first room because it's just like, you know, that's where they put all the cleaning supplies and stuff. Now we're Victoria Chase. And we'll go into Max Caulfield's room. Or Victoria that Chase's room. Max Caulfield again. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. What a confusing situation. Okay, let's start. Let's start 219. Look at me, Ma. I am a Max selfie. 
Wait, I've done it. Max has a great name set in reverse. Zam. Speech stat zero. Go to the nigger in your town. Ready, man, man. I mean, this part is pretty cool. Just live in backwards worlds? I'm assuming we gotta, like, walk backwards and then rewind into forwards time. Yeah, yeah, and then here we are at the Don't try to hide, Max. Everyday Heroes Gallery. Here. Let me capture you. They really took Jefferson some uh, coming after me again. Do you know so pure, so innocent? Took some now, steps here in the final act, huh? Don't tutorialize me in episode five. Makes me very upset. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. No. After everything I did for you, and you accused me. Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. Maybe I'll wake up. Harsh cry. Art is supposed to make you cry, and you will. You will be. Max, you will be. After everything I did for you, and you accused hey, me. Hey, Max. Hey, Mr. I Jefferson. You, and you Max. Me no, but like. Of making our sweet, oh, Lord. naive Kate Marsh cry. Art is supposed to make you cry. And you will. Mr. Jefferson, shut up. He's pretty astute, as you can see. Do a stealth takedown? I wish, dude. I wish. Let's go. Of a, a bit of an overly simplistic look at alcoholism, Max. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. 
Come out to play. Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to go, babe? Go, babe, go, babe, babe, babe. I'm not sure if Warren's okay. You dig my wheels, Max? Get in the car. This price Take can't just ride. show up at Blackwell in a wheelchair in and think we're going to accommodate her every whip. Was very presumptuous of her. I wish I could press a button and blow this whole fucking school up. You thought I was harassing Kate, but I was helping her. What the hell did you do for her? The screws. The only way you'll ever get into the vortex club is if a tornado swallows your ass up. This is actually requiring. 100% of my focus. Admit it, Max. Excuse me, Max. Excuse, uh... Excuse me, Mr. David. You thought I was harassing Kate, but I was helping her. Your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Frank, we're cool now. Don't you dare run away. Those were my beans. No. Did he actually just say those are my beans? Oh no. Relax. Bottles. Come back and start. This might be hell. Well, at least they are self aware. Max! I know you're dying to die too, skank. It's gonna be so sweet when I bury your carcass next to Max! Max. You need to get high too. like Rachel. Drugs. He's done it. He's free. Looks like there's still bottles to find. Okay, maybe laying it on a little thick. Stealth mastermind. I ever tell you guys I beat Splinter Cell Blacklist on the perfectionist level difficulty? Yeah, that's me. Just chilling on the time bench. Watching it snow inside of hell. Mmm. So we got some Saint Elsewhere going on here. Is this Samuel's uh, fireplace? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom's away. I'll let her know that. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wind. What? I am extremely oh, I tumbling through dimensions right now. Now. I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the safe mart. She don't have many no, eyes. William, she don't go. You are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're Excuse me? You're bankrupting me. Aha. Uh -huh. You can't hide from me forever. You've got to get yourself nice. together. Uh, you got yourself you stuck the in a moment, but you can't get out. Hey, Max, would you say hi to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget to remind them that you let me die. Your Max wine tasting session. Dad. You know I only like rosés, Dad. You keep buying that shitty Chardonnay. How long will this nightmare go on? Chat, don't be weird. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. 
Yeah, their selfies suck. Who said that? Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's not all that. So who cares if she doesn't kiss me? Oh, you should have seen her make a move on me in my room. Hella lame. Max I'm being sold out. Make a move on you. Come here. God damn. What a stud. Sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Great line. Oh, shit. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. <laughs> See, this is how you bust a Vacation, move, all, all I ever wanted. Time vacation, I can't get no. away. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. You're a real sexy bitch. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. She almost. I wish she would have never she come back almost to our did it. Bay. You're the real storm. Hey, uh, it me, you from six days ago. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. The last digicode. Oh. Well, great numbers are all over the place. It's a lot of eight, three, nine ones. The right code. They're underlined. Seems too obvious, though. Six, nine, six, nine. Underlines and circles were all. Uh, we're all valuable. Maybe it only reflects the proper one in the mirror. Think that's the case? Zero three one one. He's a god, essentially. Don't kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life and Who the fuck are you, dude? Nobody gives a shit about you, Abe Lincoln wannabe. Honey, I always So this is how like Max gone. gets her revenge. Okay if I'm gone. Yes, my husband I've and new baby. I wish we had been friends, Max. You've always but had please, my back. And please, now I don't want to let die like that. Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers. I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. What? And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. It's just highly not true. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear. Pardon me, we saved Kate Marsh's life! You were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. Sick burn. What about the crap that was your fault. Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe. You think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. Did it's we go back in time so many times we turned into drama. Chloe? 
Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Jefferson already Max, killed us! Do you really think she has any feelings for What us? are you talking about? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Everybody be cool. Chloe's here. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. This is like that part in Final Fantasy VII where, like, Cloud goes on that Mako trip for, like, eight hours. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. This song fucking rules. Remember that? Yeah, dance, yep. hippie, come on. You were here today, Max. You saved me. Yep, I'm very true. I remember. That. Seeing you after all these years, let's talk about your superpower. How many cigarettes are in my pocket? I recall. Uh, to be fair, I will say this moment actually sort of makes sense. If you waited uh, a month to play each episode, like when the game originally came out. If you played every episode one week after the other, it seems a little bit overkill. But I can understand if you started when the game first came out. This is a reminder. Now we're totally bonded for life. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a draw. Cowabunga! Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Right, okay, I remember the pool moment. Photo hog. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Of course, recall that. It was oh, like two weeks ago. Everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see it's Frank's RV. Post of Big Sur and beyond? Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. We started time tripping. Weird hanging out with you again. Uh, then she asked us to euthanize her, and we say no because we're not a doctor. Oh, awesome picture. He looks. Chloe, you're back. I'm just. Kate wasn't the first. Found the binders full of women, made that sick Mick, <laughs> Mitt Romney joke. Found the body, everything all came crashing down. You know, the new McNugget sauce from McDonald's? The McRomney? He said the word wrong! Max, Max, can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe, I, I must have passed out. Oh, Sorry. thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. Revolve around you, Max. Death and destruction. Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me. Which had to happen. All of this did. Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Baby, I'm amazed by the way you tumble all through time. You don't know wrong from right. Maxine, I'm Max. amazed by the way you time travel. This is the only way. 
I, I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo. I know you caused the storm by right time traveling too much, but picture. maybe the solution is one last time travel? All it would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather... Deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Okay, so you're setting Way up a false me. dilemma where the Give only that. solutions are kill you and save the town. You're not trading me. Maybe or you save you but let the town die. I see. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once. I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Easiest decision Chloe, I've ever made in my life. I can't make. We're gonna save the choice. town. Not because I hate no, Chloe. Max. It's just it's it's the, the easiest trolley can. problem in Earth's history. Assuming that we're following the game's internal logic of this crazy plan actually working, 100% sacrifice Chloe. There's like 10,000 people living Max, in this town. It's time. Chloe. I'm so, so sorry. I... I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. We have to save everybody. Okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week... It was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. What if the storm still happens? I'm gonna look mad silly if the storm still happens. To look in a photo of, you know, the presidential photo of George Washington and go back in time to 1776. Time traveling girl. What is wrong with your hands, Maxine? Oh, you forget about beans. I was eating those. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Hey, don't Nathan, scared. don't do anything you you'll regret. Sorry, I, I can't it. say because we have to. You're the boss. Let Chloe die for reasons. So, what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. My reaction when the only way to change no. the events that are Talk happening business. is to travel through I time, not for you. Wrong. Shout you out and cash. say, hey, don't do that. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. 
Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! What if she just went back in time to slightly earlier than this moment and told Chloe not to go to the bathroom? Or was this the first photograph ever taken in human history thanks to our constant alterations of the timeline in Arcadia Bay? I don't understand the arbitrary reasons and as a result the emotional heft is slightly compromised by false dilemmas but mostly I still had a pretty good time. This was the first time she time traveled? Yeah, but if you go back in time to the first time you time traveled... You time traveled to get there. It's like if you drive away from your house and then drive back, it's not like you didn't drive. Is Chloe a storm magnet? I'm not even trying to poke holes in the game. I just think it's... Like, I was... Up till episode 4, I was fully in. Episode 5, I'm like 50-50. I just found a little... The red... It's... And this is true in a lot of fiction, but it's, like, much easier to ask interesting questions than... Uh, ask interesting questions than it is to give interesting answers. That's all I'm saying. So the idea is that, like, time is, this is what was supposed to happen. Everything that we've done to alter events has led to the storm happening. So even foreknowledge of the events and then doing things differently results in the dimensional rift that causes the storm to come. Got it. No problem. I understand. It's Donnie Darko. Why could she time travel anyway? Well, yeah, but you gotta buy in at some point. You know, it's not like an all or nothing thing. Like, I can accept the anime nature of it. Well, this is the Blackwell Wing of the Arcadia Bay Cemetery. Opened this year. Well, what was the whole point of the game? Well, I mean, the whole point is, uh, you know, the journey that we had along the way. I think we learned a lot. We had we learned a lot about the people in the town. We can relate to them as three-dimensional characters. Like, for example, David. We thought he was just a tough soldier. Turns out he's actually the worst person on Earth at hand-to-hand -hand combat, and he's a little sentimental. Kay Marsh got saved. At least up till this point. The yacht, a band that was inspired by Interpol. You can 
tell by the way there's the driving bass and the sparse electric guitar it creates introspection at the end of the game cause we know who's in the coffin now it's not that I have no remorse I was I was forced into a false dilemma I chose the one that was most sensible. <laughs> yeah, you say it was Larry David. I was mourning that girl. <laughs> you got it, snack. Oh. I mean, it is still sad. I mean, you know, you're sad for Chloe's mom, especially, who's gone through, like, the most horrible things that could ever happen to a, a wife and mother over and over. Um, but at the same time, like, it was the it was the better option, in my opinion. I'm not going to go over the line and say anybody who saved Chloe is, like, a bad person for letting everybody in the town die. What I will say is, like, you know... Not only was the choice 10,000 people versus the person that we may or may not have been in love with who was also our best friend, but the second thing is, who says the tornado is going to stop at Arcadia Bay? What if it causes like a cascading international time crisis that, you know, tears up the entire planet, you know? The point is that there's some ambiguity either way, I suppose, but I mean, I chose the, I chose the logical answer. Doesn't make me uh, emotionless, but perhaps a little bit colder than uh, than some of the people who may have chosen to forgo saving the town just to just to keep Chloe alive, and that's fine. What if the tornado dies out? Okay, what if it doesn't? Is the thing? Is there a way for <laughs> is there a way for her to die and also? Uh, have the tornado destroy Arcadia Bay? Alright. I mean, that's the most important decision. 47.53. Believe it or not, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I think that this is, like, indicative of them giving you a good dilemma at the end of the game. The fact that it went 50-50, I think that's a good sign for them. Let's look at friend stats. Okay, I've got friends who are perhaps slightly more logical and analytical than the norm. Is that the only... There's got to be a more stats. There's no more stats for episode five. There's just the one stat. Why didn't everybody just evacuate? Well, they didn't, you know, they didn't give us the option. That's the unfortunate part. You're right. There is a next spot. <laughs> My mistake. All right. Uh, David got a scar. Correct. David didn't kill Jefferson. We went back in time to make that happen. You didn't save the trucker. But we did save Evan. We didn't save Alyssa, who apparently was like one of the easiest. No, the fisherman was the easiest. There you go. Who are the terrible people that are saying you didn't change Joyce's mind about David? David... 100% completely redeemed himself. And yet, you did... I bet, you know what it is? I bet 66% just... Or a lot of that 66% just went straight into the picture after they talked to Warren. So I'll give them that. I don't think that was even a conscious choice. That was probably like a lot of people just never talked to her. You told the truth about Rachel to Frank. I'm happy with that decision. Um, 
and I hugged Warren. 68% kissed Warren, you know. It's your choice. You're entitled to do that. Didn't fit in with my head cannon. In my head cannon, uh, Max has a, a platonic affection towards Warren. With Chloe, perhaps a, a romantic infatuation. But I don't you know, long term, who knows? At the present time, I didn't feel like 68% going for Warren uh, fits my personal headcanon, but that's okay. Let's look at the friends list. 80% of my friends kiss Warren. 80%? Who? I guess I'm the only person in my friends who didn't save Alyssa. Also the only one who did save Evan. I know, uh... Wife Taffy played this. So she's in that 80%, no doubt. There you go. Life is Strange, Episode 5, Polarized. Overall, um, I actually liked Life is Strange. And you might think that it's putting on airs. I do think that Episode 5 was the weakest episode, even though it had some of the coolest ideas. You know, the fact that you were kind of tumbling through time. But then again, like the Force Stealth section, I was not a big fan of. The What I felt to be a Force Dilemma at the game, I was not a huge fan of. But if I look at it as a whole experience, I quite enjoyed it. Um, and I will play the prequel, uh, probably on the stream. Maybe next week, maybe after next week, maybe after all the episodes come out, we'll figure it out. Episode 4 was really good. Like, uh, say what you will, I'm not gonna say it's better than, like, The Walking Dead Season 1, but, like, it's, I find this kind of fiction more interesting than going back down the, you know, that kind of Walking Dead style again and again and again and again and again. We can wait till everything is out. I'm not going to play Undertale starting next week, and the reason for that is because I'm still dealing with community backlash for Divinity. And if I get the CRPG fans that are like, you gotta, and, and they're right, to be fair, but you gotta pay more attention to shopping and looting and dialogue, and then I get the Undertale fans who are like, you killed the, my skeleton husband, uh, it's just gonna, there's gonna be cross communication, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be Szechuan sauced. I'm gonna be like fully overloaded with the Szechuan. So we gotta like do one at a time, please, it's the only way. Oxenfree seems plausible. That's a game that a lot of people uh, have been suggesting. Or maybe, like, some one-off multiplayer stuff. I don't know. I haven't, to be honest with you, I haven't really given it much of, a, much of a thought at this point. Although I should have, because I had, like, five weeks to prepare. I'm not going to play Steins Gate. Not because I think it's bad, but it's just not really... That RPG Maker stuff is not really my scene. Except for To the Moon, to be fair. I hear it's amazing, though. Or good, at least. Um, climb that mountain. First, I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll be back in like a minute here. See you, see you shortly.
Hey, uh, got any snacks? I think I'm gonna play like half an hour of getting over it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. Uh, this is good. You guys see this? Let me link it to you here. You should play Danganronpa? I'm not like a, a weeaboo. And I don't even mean that to be like offensive. I just mean like you're trying to, you're forcing me down a road that I don't think I have the, I don't have winter tires on. You know what I mean? Kate played it? Kate's a weeaboo. She'll tell you that herself. There's like actually zero shame in it. It's 100%. Not to mention, what about me makes you think Danganronpa would be a fit for me? It's a ton of dialogue and dialogue based puzzles. I'm not even, people are like, you're missing out on a great piece of media. I'm not, though, because I'm playing other great media. Like, it's just, it's not really my scene, is all I'm saying. I'm not going to play Hots, Invicta. It's, it's a bad professional decision. You love doing investigating stuff? Yeah, not after... L.A. Noir, where people ask you a rhetorical question, you gotta call them out on all their lies, like somebody's not picking up on any freaking social cues. It's loading. There we go. New game. We're at the start anyway. I'm gonna spam heavy rain until you notice it. Um, does Heavy Rain exist on the PC platform, or would I have to use a PlayStation 3? There's a Heavy Rain PC version? No, there's no PC version. Okay, that's what I thought. I'll just tell you straight up, that's unlikely. Like, the new game from the, uh... Oh, Lord. From the Until Dawn uh, boys comes out in like a week. I hope that that's extremely fun. Red Dead Redemption or bust? I don't know, dude. So here's the thing with like subscriber stream games. I really want to reach a point at which I'm not just playing games I missed from like six or seven years ago. I'm, oh, they have remastered versions on PS4, okay. Otherwise, like, because I, I get annoyed at some of the PC ports of those games. I mean, Red Dead Redemption doesn't even have a PC port. So, like, I'll just tell you straight up, that's never going to happen. On, on the subscriber streams, at least. But Oxenfree is, is, is absent that. Oxenfree is from, like, last year. No. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Please don't. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think like David Cage stuff is a uh, is a decent fit for me and my style of gameplay. I'm done with Fallout. I I'm all Fallouted up. I'm getting messages now. People are like, you should play Fallout 2 on stream. I'll play Fallout 5 when it comes out. I'm not even saying Fallout 2 is bad. It's just that that train has sailed. I'm Fallouted up. I I've done it all. All the modern ones, at least. Let's go. That was probably the worst move I've ever made in this game. I'd love for you to play Phantasmagoria. I want to... 
I don't disagree, all right? I, I like that FMV style of gameplay, but if I was gonna play something like that, I'd probably play Contradiction on Nick's recommendation. Because I'm done... Well, I, I want to be done playing ports on the PC of games that came out, like, more than seven years ago. Because it's annoying. I've, I've done my time. They're missing, like, so many quality of life improvements from modern games. It's not to say they're worse, but as, as a product, they're usually... They leave a little bit to be desired. And I'm, I'm taking what everybody's saying to heart, but I'm also taking it with a grain of salt. Because people told me that they're like, you'd hate Contradiction. Some people are saying you'd love Contradiction. Well, a lot of people told me I'd hate Life is Strange. Didn't end up being true. A ton of people told me I'd hate Until Dawn. And that was one million percent wrong. Until Dawn was extremely up my alley, so... We'll, uh... You know, we'll, we'll, we'll tackle that issue when we come to it. I also kind of think, like, um... I'm kind of thinking that Tuesdays I want to be, like, a pseudo-subscriber day. Where, like, when I have the time, which I have lately, I can stream whatever I want. And Sundays are like, I promised I'd stream this. Sundays is like the subscribers vote and they force me to play something that I might love and I might hate, but who knows. And then um, Tuesdays are like, eh, I'm interested in this. That's why I thought Until Dawn was a good fit. Tuesdays were also PUBG for like three months. That's also true. I'm not going to play Five Nights at Freddy's. Doesn't seem like my scene. Not gonna play HOTS. Zero percent chance. Tuesday is not going back to PUBG. I'm like, I've, I've crested the PUBG wave. I'm still enjoying it, still looking forward to recording it. But uh, I don't play uh, any casual like off-camera PUBG anymore. Please. The Devil's Chimney, dude. Either of the South Park RPGs? I think those are more the kind of thing that I enjoy in the privacy of my own home because it always... Maybe I don't have enough faith in the internet. Maybe I have too much faith in the internet. But it's going to start arguments. Like, no matter what. I prefer people being, like, completely in the dark about my social and political, um, you know, beliefs. You make a joke about Bernie Sanders and people think, like... Oh, he's like, uh, and L's a Republican. You make a joke about Donald Trump, people go, oh, he's like a Democrat. You know, we keep, keep him guessing. Feed him shit and keep him in the dark. That's the, that's the secret. And L's red-pilled, and L's blue-pilled, and L's white-pilled, and L doesn't even know how to spell pills. You know, that's where we're at. Let's go. I'm not going to play Tales from the Borderlands. There's a couple of reasons. One is I know nothing about the Borderlands story. The other one is I'm just, like, not excited by Telltale. I'm, like, over the Telltale gamble. Not gamble. Telltale style. the second best Telltale game? Nah, you see, like, we're, we're so, like, in a post-Telltale universe for me personally. Everyone else, you know, they're entitled to do whatever they want. But you would have to, like, come out with a game and be like, this is by far the best thing Telltale has ever done. If it's gonna be a Telltale game, I have, I have to see reviews that are like, this is surpassing The Walking Dead Season 1. Here we go. Here. 
Here we go. Dylan. Play EYE Divine Cybermancy. That's a Mathis game. I agree. I saw a comment. It, it went by like far too fast for me to actually be able to read it, but I caught some of the gist of it. It's a lot like, you know, the way I played Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, it said you should play more games that fit a Mystery Science Theater 3000 style. It's the kind of content, uh, you know, I don't get to make all that much, but I really enjoy making it. Like, you know, we got the NLSS for like bantery stuff. And then Isaac is like stream of consciousness and Divinity is like... The tension between Mathis and I having competing ideals for how we should play that game. And PUBG is like, hey, get your camera on Austin so that he can get like good stuff done. And XCOM is sanctioned backseating. So anything with, uh, with a more MST3K style, I'm like, it's in my wheelhouse. I'm interested. Let's go. NL, your sub subscription section still says nine emotes. Yeah, that's not an accident. It's because of the phrase, uh, you should always under promise and over deliver. You know, it says nine emotes and then you subscribe and you're like, whoa, there's actually like 14 emotes. I like this guy. I should check my Twitch Prime subscription and use it on him. Or subscribe for half price during Subtober, all the way from now until TwitchCon. Don't call me lazy. I took the gigantic uh, text out of Moobot today. So I actually, it's been a pretty long day's work. I'm not going to play an anime game. I'm just not... You, it's not the guy you want playing the anime game. I'm just being honest with you. I've got my... I've got my brand. Not many... Products... That, like, seem anime-ish fit into it. And that's okay. No! Dylan, your... Your momentum... Play Shadow of War? I don't know, dude, because, like, I really like Shadow of Mordor, but I kind of like Titanfalled myself. I gave myself a lot of reasons to not be interested in Shadow of War with the whole, like, loot box uh, stuff that people are now saying. Maybe, like, a mild overreaction, maybe not. You know, it depends on your perspective. And then, you know, Mathis and Sinvicta saying that the game runs like junk on PC isn't giving me a lot of hope, but... Chimney. I'm not going to play Knights of the Old Republic. And there's a, a good reason for that. Uh, I have already played Knights of the Old Republic... I bought it on launch day back in the summer of 2003, not even knowing who Bioware was. Beat it. Played it again and beat it dark side instead of light side. So I'm like fully codored up. You got nothing to worry about there.
We got 10 minutes to make progress. Should play Magical Wizard Wars. Maintain until the, the day I die. That game got an unfair shake by the media, dude. It's the Shenzhen IO of, uh, of MOBAs. No, see you later, Dylan. I played Wizard Wars. It's the only MOBA I actually liked. Let's go. There's dozens of us. Can I make you a PowerPoint to sell you on Yakuza 0? Please do something better with your time, like for your own sake. I'm not saying I won't play Yakuza 0, but the odds are low. Even though I understand it's got a, an actually great reputation. Almost. But anyway, this is all somewhat moot. Like, I'm internalizing the suggestions. Hoop. Let us go. I'm internalizing the suggestions, but on Tuesdays, I'm going to use my, uh, my autonomy and uh, choose something to play as a result. Because the Tuesday show is like... They're a flex show right now, you know. While I got the time, we're doing Tuesdays. It's been like a busy month, dude. There's like a lot of YouTube videos. There's a lot of uh, stuff going on. I mean, just a normal amount of stuff on Twitch, I guess. But like... The Tuesday show might be around forever or it might not be around forever. So I'm I'm going to play what I like. Because it's essentially like added, added content in the week. I'm most likely to continue it if I'm choosing what I'm playing. Instead of just adding in a second uh, Sunday show, basically. Please. Whew. Reach for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. Look at that. Wizard 3 DLC is not going to happen. Great game. Going back to 100% stuff. Uh, as I'm sure you're aware of. Not 100% my style. No! We're back, we're back, we're back. What's your PB so far? I don't know, like Boxtown? Play chess? No. Zero percent chance. Zero per chess chance. Loveless. What games do you have in mind for next Tuesday? I don't know, Oxen Free seems like kind of a... A cool choice. Oh, that was wrong. <sighs> Fahrenheit, you actually cannot play on Twitch. Which is the mildest of all mild bummers. Because it's a David Cage game that has a PC version. Which would make it extremely easy to play, but, uh, yeah, Fahrenheit slash Indigo Prophecy is, is one of the few games banned on Twitch. Please. 
Why is it banned? I mean, I've never played it, so I don't know, but I believe there might be a scene depicting sexual assaults. Please. Oh, let me out. That's a lie. It's not on the banned games list. It might be called Indigo Prophecy or Fahrenheit, but it's definitely... I mean, I've seen it on the banned games list, unless it was removed recently. It was removed when they added Twitch IRL. I'm not sure if that's true. Ooh. It is on the banned games list. Look at it. See, it's a, it's a confusing time. No, Dylan, there was like almost no way to mess that up. Alternate versions of adult-only titles are permitted, including mature versions of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and Fahrenheit. Okay. You know, I saw it in chat. I actually do like the Sherlock Holmes games. Like, uh... Well, I mean, to be fair, I've only played through one in its entirety, and it was uh, Crimes and Punishments. I thought that game was real good. And then, um, I heard that, was it called Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter or something like that? It was, like, not as good. So I never played it. Like, Kate really liked the Crimes and Punishments, and then she played The Devil's Daughter or whatever it's called, and was like, eh... It's not nearly as good as the last one, and I was like, okay. It was Sherlock Holmes and the Devil's Grundle? I'm not gonna play Grim Fandango. If you think it's bad watching me play anything that's not a run-and-gun side-scroller, uh, you don't even know the half of it, dude. Like. Point-and-click adventure games do not work with my brain. You know how in uh, L.A. Noir, I'm always getting angrier than everybody else about the arbitrary conversation mechanics? Combine that uh, with adventure game mechanics where, you know, you have to combine two pieces of your inventory to make solutions to puzzles that make no sense. Even if the writing is good, it doesn't... Uh, it does not compute. Isn't Divinity sort of like what you're describing? Not at all, actually. Like, not not intending to be rude, but more so like... Yeah, you smack monsters in the face to solve problems in Divinity. At least that's one way out. I am actually stunned. Alright. We at least have to get to grill on stream. If we don't get to grill on stream, we've made a terrible mistake. This seems like the best way to do this. single 
whole time. I was like, we've made it so there's like a 900 to 1 odds of messing this up. And then we messed it up. Dylan, you son of a bitch. I don't know, I kind of like, I got a soft spot for adventure games in which I don't really have to solve puzzles, like narrative adventure games. And yet at the same time, I have a not quite arbitrary, but maybe not fully justified dislike or at least uh, distaste for recent Telltale stuff. So I kind of, I'm lucky actually, there's a lot of stuff recently that's not Telltale, it's in the same vein, but yeah, I mean, Soma is a possibility, although I already know the like Soma spoilers. And, uh, like, Contradiction seems like it would be a good fit. Oxenfree seems like it might be a good fit. Kentucky Route Zero might be a little bit, uh, a little bit precious for a format like this, but it's possible. I gotta at least try. Metal Gear Solid 5 will not happen uh, because of Konami. Basically, not... People think it's because, like, I have a grudge with Konami. And it, like, sort of is because way back in the day, they content ID'd match an NLSS we did of Super Castlevania 4 of all fucking games. But really, it's just because they, they content ID match everything. It's just a business decision. It's not like I watched enough of the Jimquisition that I'm like, I'm not going to support this company. It's more like this company doesn't support what we do. So, you know, we'd rather, uh, just avoid the issue altogether if possible. He's done it. Alright, I gotta get going to PUBG. So the next fall is the end of this. But I'm not gonna throw on purpose, at least. We have to fall to lose it all. That's the rule. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Grill on stream. Yeah, we at least made it to grill on stream. Okay, well that was actually like... It looked like the ultimate throw. Chimney sweeps. What a terrible performance. Either way, we finished Life is Strange. Let me check on our Skype conversation groups here. Are we ready? Are we acquiescing some battlegrounds? You choked on me? Thanks for the stream. No, thank you for being here. Thanks for the support. XCOM will go live like right after the show. Oh, hello. Hello. Perfect timing. I'm just about to finish. Are you going live? Yeah. What are you going to play? Final Fantasy XIV. Okay. Kate's going to be live playing the new patch of Final Fantasy XIV at twitch.tv slash lovelymomo. Um, let's see here. I'm not going to learn to program in a new language on stream. You think the backseating is bad now? Like, dude. I chose to save Arcadia Bay. I can't even get into this argument right now. I didn't kill her. I went, I went back in time and didn't save her. To save, if I if I get the credit for killing Chloe, then I get the credit for birthing all of Arcadia Bay. That's the way it works. But but you kissed her. I did kiss her. Yes. Yo, 
if that's you, and then I have to sacrifice random townspeople to save you, I'll do it. I'm very glad to hear that. I'll, I'll, I'll do I'll my, unlike die. Chloe, I'll do my part by not getting myself into that position by trying to extort a drug dealer in the high school bathroom. That's good. I will kill random people to save you, Ryan. Very glad to hear that. Would you do that for me, too? Of course. <laughs> Was there a hesitation? None whatsoever. All right, good. So, hey, thanks for watching the show. Random town people? Yeah, I mean, we did have, like, hour-long conversations with some of them, but they're mostly random. <laughs> Numfy C, slowly clapping. Dingo Django, 50 Nug or Die. Swag and Wagon, Tricky Knee. Kaiser Creature, You Cannot Redo. Wolfield, Get Dusted, Yun. DDG16, Railgun 256, Orin Saltzman, Lickety Link. Marius Raptor, Jimble the Grizzly. Fabiel Kronung, Grizu. Kenzo89, Mr. Redwood69, Rigged Banana, The Pinkness. C username, the Wonder Dolphin, do not know names, zero RBK, old uncle money bags, don't leave daddy, Notharian, fire hellkite, almo 007, Michael of North, Dartron 137, Twizzle Kicks, Faisal 27, 69 Scumlord 69, Lop Lop 452, the Hyperbreed, MC Race, Elder Horse God, Koi Wolf, Anti Guardian, 34 Soleil, Cheese Kaiser, Resident Triggered, The Real Foster Forest, Tarragon HS, Riot Otaku, or Rio the Otaku, Zenshin1231, Platypus112, Lollipop, Blizzaz, Warmadillo, Young Khaleesi, Big Jill, Enzik930, Krozak. I've lost it here. Kruzek, that's it. Maximus Games. Dinin 991, Reaper Invert, Zik Talk Dash, Happy Brummy, Jimmy's Jolly Jamboree, Watterson Plasma Sandwich, Potato Head Joe, Lalzapan, Omrit HXH, Critical EDG, Voot Legend, and Contibus. Thank you guys very much for the subscriptions. Thanks for the cheers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making an effort to watch that ad block. Of course, as I end the show today, if you have your Twitch Prime subscriptions and you're interested in uh, using them, or you might have used it in the past and you want to know if it's already uh, available to use again, click the subscribe button in the top right of the video frame. If it says resubscribe free or use your Twitch Prime subscription, you can do so at no cost to yourself beyond what you already pay for Amazon Prime. Uh, I don't necessarily ask that you use it on me. Although, obviously, I am. Uh, just that you use it in general, because you're already paying for it. Contibus, thank you as well. Um... You're already paying for it. You might as well support your local streamer. Whether that's me or somebody else. Spread the love. For now, Kate's going to be live. Twitch.tv slash Lovely Momo. Right now. Playing the new update to Final Fantasy XIV. Everybody's favorite MOBA. The second most popular MOBA. Mo not MOBA. Mamurpug. On uh, Twitch.tv. It's not a MOBA. I'm a real gamer. Sildart, totally Liam Neeson and Smugs1. Thank you for this subscription as well. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. With the NLSS tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time.